2007 Nissan Frontier customer states grinding in the brakes we're just gonna start checking stuff till we find out what's making the noise y'all hang out caliper bolts loose they're 14 millimeter there's one it looks like the pads might be wore out but we're gonna see what we got two 14 millimeters just like that I think this is our culprit. Ooh, look at her, look at her. She's on the squealer tab. Y'all see that? Right there. See that squealer tab? Yep, when they, they're designed to where when they get down that low, they'll scrub on it and let you know before it gets metal to metal. So, he saved his rotor. Rotor looks nice. Old pads is gone to the bad. And we'll see, I think it's got some, some brakes inside here too. All right, see these bolts right back here? There's one on top, one on the bottom. They're 19. I'll break them loose. There's the one on the top. Screws right out. Well, I say it does. Let's get the one on the bottom broke loose. There. Should screw right out. Just slide right off. Just like that. We'll clean that up good. And then this piece, there's your emergency brake. This is your emergency brake pads in here. And as you can see, emergency brake pads, we're going to clean that up good, but they have absolutely hardly anywhere on them. They're only used when you stop and it just goes out, keeps the truck from rolling. So um, we're going to clean this up. We'll put a new set of pads on the back. We'll be good to go. Y'all hang out. All right, since we got this thing in the air, we're going to go on and check on these, um, these front brakes. Same thing, same thing. No, nothing, nothing widgetry up here at all. It's just um, two 14 millimeters. Break these loose. Normally you can run them out with your fingers after you break them loose. No big deal. Looks like me the pads has gone to the bad on the front of this thing. So I'll let her hang. Let her dangle. Oh my. Oh my. We've got the little spring there that comes off. Whoo wee! I would say he got all he could get out of that brake pad. Look at her. Mm -mm -mm. She has gone straight to the bad. So, um, we've got, yep, she's on a squealer tab. He needs pads. Um, luckily, I think his rotors is okay. He said it wasn't shaking. We're not going to put no rotors on it anyhow. We're going to put pads on it, front and back. Y'all hang out. All right, we've got the new brake pads here. Looks like they came with the new brackets. Oh, yes. That is a thing of beauty. We can just snatch those old brackets off, put these brackets on there. They got the little squeal tabs on. They're ready to go. They're supposed to be ceramic pads. We're going to throw them on there. Y'all hang out. All right, we're cleaning out the old emergency brake here. <laughs> Look how clean that thing got. She is pretty. She don't even get used hardly. Once you get that cleaned off, 
you throw this piece back up on there any old way and it should slide right up over there ease look at this uh -huh. just like that He's got good grease on them. Make sure they're lubed up good. We're gonna get those new brackets here. Yeah. Like Jaws took a bite out of that thing. Arr. Okay. All right. They go up here somehow, another like this. Look at that. Like money, son. Look at that. Hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. 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 There you go. Now we're going to slap her back up there. She goes up there just like this. Put the bolts back in it. And um, I'll get back with y'all. All right, fellas. Once you slide this caliper bracket in there, you get your two big caliper bolts. One starts back here on the top. The other one right here, both the same, both 19 millimeter. One starts down at the bottom. All I'm doing, make sure you put your rotor on before you put this on. If you put that on before you put the rotor on, yeah, she no go. She no go. So, um, just run these up good. Yeah. All right, you take your ratchet, put it on here. Put a little mojo on them. Just like that. Yeah. All right, then you take your pads, you throw them in there like so. Boop. Yep, they just pop right in there. Normally, normally they do, just like so. And once you get your pads in there, then you got to push your, your old caliper back. Where'd my caliper get off to? She disappeared. Oh, there she is. And, uh, I've got just the tool push the old caliper back. See it's pushing that cylinder back. That's it. She's all the way back. Just like that. Let the air out. Do you see how that works? Let the air right out of that thing. There we go. Then slide it back up on there. Like so. Get you two caliper bolts they screw right on just like so tighten these up the only thing we got left now I always make sure this flops back and forth the only thing we got left now is um is to pump the brakes up we'll do the front brakes so we'll go around to the front now all you do is pop these things out right here. Yeah, because they come with new ones. They come out of here. Make sure you got good grease on these here. I'm going to stick this one on this side. Stick that one on the other side. Pop this open. Yep. New brackets. Nice, pretty new brackets. Sit in there just like so. sit right there she's gonna sit right there just like that do one at a time and that one's all the way back then release the air out of here these little clips here go in these little holes just like that then you got your caliper pushed back she sits up on there like that then you put your bolts back in there 
just a matter of tightening up your bolts, pumping your brakes, making sure all the cylinders are back out, checking your fluid, and um, you can stick a fork in this one, fellas. All you do is you tighten these bolts up like this here, guys. Make sure I can't emphasize enough pump the brakes. I backed the car out of the shop one time faster than Mario Andretti because I didn't pump the brakes. So remember, until next time, if she's giving trouble, she's going to the bathroom.